Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Here we'll be discussing more PYQs of uh, electromagnetism, magnetism, uh, just PYQs. Okay, so electromagnetism, just PYQs. This is the second part of the video. There is uh, another video we had made, so you please check it, check it out. Okay, so first question we did some eight or nine questions in the previous class, so there should be I think question number nine. And uh, right on when when unpolarized light when unpolarized light is incident on a glass is incident is incident on a glass a glass plate. At a particular angle, at a particular angle, okay. it is observed that it is observed, it is observed that the reflected beam, the reflected beam is, the reflected beam is linearly polarized the reflected beam is linearly polarized what is the angle of the what is the angle of the reflected beam what is the angle of the reflected beam with respect to the surface normal with respect to the surface surface normal okay option a 56.7 degree option b 33.4 degree option c 23.3 degree option d the light is completely reflected the light is completely reflected the light is completely reflected and there is no refracted beam and there is no refracted beam and there is no refracted beam okay this is the question when unpolarized light is incident on a glass plate at a particular angle it is observed that the reflected beam is linearly polarized and what is polarized what is the angle of the reflected beam with respect to the surface normal okay so here see light is incident on the glass plate that means it's coming from air to the glass plate so what is the refractive index here mu1 is equal to 1 mu2 is equal to glass plate so mu2 is equal to 1.52 okay <clears throat> this is a for a glass plate now uh, it is observed that the reflected beam is linearly polarized. Okay, what is the angle of the refracted beam? All right. So first of all, we have to find out the Brewster angle for it. Okay. Brewster angle. What is the Brewster angle here? Theta b is equal to tan inverse. Tan inverse uh, mu two by mu one. Okay. Tan inverse mu two by mu one. So tan inverse one point five two by 1 okay so that will be tan inverse 1.52 so that is actually 56.70 okay you have to, you will have the calculator in the um, screen like in the exam so you can calculate that so what is the refracted angle the angle of refracted beam with respect to normal so theta b plus theta r is how much is actually how much it's 90 degree okay so your theta r will be refracted beam 90 minus theta b that is 90 degree minus 56.7 degree that will be your 33.3 degree okay that will be the answer that will be your answer okay so the angle of refracted beam i did it wrong. this is refracted angle of the refracted beam with respect to the surface normal is 33.3 or 33.4 nearly okay yeah 
I hope you understood this one. Okay, next question. Question number 10. A time independent magnetic field, a time uh, sorry, time dependent. Time dependent magnetic field. A time dependent magnetic field. Bt is produced in a is produced in a circular region of space. Circular region of space. circular region of space infinitely long infinitely long and and of radius r and of radius r okay the magnetic field is given by the magnetic field is given by the magnetic field is given by B is equal to B naught T Z cap okay and uh, is zero for R greater than R hmm. this is for R less than R so R greater than R okay the electric field the question is the electric field the electric field at point the electric field at point R is equal to 2 R is the electric field at point R is equal to 2 R is okay. A time dependent magnetic field Bt is produced in a circular region of space infinitely long and of radius R. The magnetic field is given by this. So the electric field at point R is equal to 2 R is how much? Try this question. Options are I will give you the options. Option A, B naught R by 2 R cap minus B naught R by 4 theta cap uh, minus B naught R by 2 R cap B naught R by 4 theta cap. A time dependent magnetic field Bt is produced in a circular region of space. Infinity long and of radius r. The magnetic field is given by this. The electric field at point r is equal to 2 r is. Uh, this is the question. How to solve it? Okay. So how to solve it? See magnetic field is given B is equal to B naught T Z cap. You are asked electric field. Okay. How to do it? Okay, see, see, we know EMF is equal to minus del phi by del t. Is it correct? Yeah, uh, from Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, right? Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction says EMF is equal to minus del phi by del t. I can write EMF as line integral of electric field, isn't it? EMF voltage is line integral of E dot DL uh, electric field is equal to minus del phi by del T, right? Now phi is what? Flux can also be written as integration of B dot DS. 
right b dot d is hmm. so minus del by del t um, integration of otherwise okay wait um, yeah anyway minus del by del t integration of phi is b dot d is okay what will i do i will take this del by t inside okay so integration of minus del b by del t dot ds okay this is your e dot dl e dot dl okay now see e dot dl <coughs> e dot dl okay now see this is a what uh, time independent magnetic field is produced in a circular region of space circular is infinitely long and of radius half. so circular region of space that means what will be the dl that will be e dl because e dl cos theta theta will be zero e dl is equal to minus del b by del t okay uh, into ds so that would be what b vector is how much just put it b not t z cap so put it there so minus del by del t of b not t z cap dot ds is your ds z cap okay integration okay now e dot dl what is the uh, total length for the circle that is 2 pi r radius is given how much radius is given capital r right radius is given capital r so we'll just um, okay no 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 see here uh, uh, see this 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 one b not t z cap okay this is your in which region r is less than r so this is around like here the magnetic field is actually in the region r okay small r so like is the whole circle is like this the radius is r but the magnetic field is up to r only okay so this is your magnetic field so what is the length of that one of that circular part that is 2 pi r 2 pi r is equal to integration this is uh, minus del by t of b not t is minus b not and ds okay so e into 2 pi r is equal to minus b not ds okay now what is this this is the whole area the whole area that is your 2 pi r pi capital r square okay b not pi capital r square is it all right so that will be e is equal to minus b not pi r square by 2 pi r pi pi cancelled so that is minus b not r square by 2 r is it all right Minus b not r square by 2 r so what is the question now uh, we have to find a little field at a point r is equal to 2 r so put r is equal to 2 r so r is equal to 2 r a little field is equal to minus b not r square divided by 2 into 2 r that is minus b not r is r r cancelled by 4 hmm. minus b not r by 4 let's see which option it is minus b not r by 4 and uh, theta cap like b not r by 4 we got not so along with it there is theta cap so that will be the answer Question, question number 11. This type of question we have done before, but let's do it again. A point charge. Plus Q is placed at 0, 0, D above a Grounded infinite, grounded infinite conducting plane, conducting plane defined by z is equal to zero. There are no charges present. There are no charges present 
anywhere else what is the magnitude of electric field it is the magnitude of electric field is the magnitude of electric field at 0 0 minus t option a q by 8 pi epsilon naught d square option b is minus infinity option c 0 option b q by 16 pi epsilon naught d square Point charge plus Q is placed at 0, 0 d above a grounded infinite conducting plane defined by Z is equal to 0, where are no charges present anywhere else. What is the magnitude of electric field at 0, 0 minus 2? See, when there is, whenever there is written grounded infinite conducting plane, that means it's a, there is this grounded infinite conducting plane, there is this plus Q charge here at 0, 0 d at a distance d from this plane and exactly there are no other charges present so this is z by z is equal to 0 that means this is x y plane okay x y plane now uh, so this is your grounded infinite plane uh, problem so there will be a mirror charge on the just the other side of the uh, plane that will be q is equal to 0 0 minus t right isn't it exactly opposite there will be another charge and that will be minus q right q this will be minus q okay so what is the question again what is the magnitude of electric field at 0 0 minus so this is where you are asked uh, the magnitude of electric field okay so here you have to find the magnitude of electric field so how, how would you see uh, the distance is how much simply electric field is equal to the charge here is minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught what is the distance between these two because here you have to find so we have to take this into consideration what is the distance here uh, this is d this is d so 2d so 2d whole square so that would be minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught 4d square so that would be minus q divided by 16 pi epsilon naught d square okay but you are asked the magnitude that means Q by 16 pi epsilon naught d square. Okay, that will be the question, that will be the answer. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Okay, next question. Question number 12. This is called this was which kind of problem image problem image charge okay if there is a q on this side there will be exactly same distance minus q hmm. okay, next question consider a particle of consider a particle of electric charge e and um, mass m mass m moving under moving under the influence of a of a constant oriental electric field constant oriental electric field constant oriental electric field E and constant vertical gravitational field and constant vertical vertical gravitational field gravitational field gravitational field described by described by acceleration due to gravity g acceleration due to gravity 
acceleration due to gravity g okay if the particle starts from rest if the particle starts from rest starts from rest what will be its trajectory what will be its trajectory option a parabolic option b elliptic option c straight line and option d circular okay consider particle velocity charge e mass m moving under the influence of a constant oriental electric field e constant vertical gravitational field described by acceleration gravity g particle starts from rest okay. there is a charge mass l moving under constant oriental electric field it's like this suppose and the gravitational field is downwards vertical gravitation so we have particle will start from rest that means u is equal to zero and what will be its trajectory how the particle will move in this region if the electric field is like this charge here and the gravitational field is downwards so how the particle will move in the in the region that is the question so if you see equation of motion we know we have equation of motion equation of motion is what qe force on the charged particle is equal to m dv by dt right isn't it I can also write it as uh, QE is equal to m d square x by dt square. Okay. So if you see QE by m is equal to d square x by dt square. If I solve this equation, d square x by dt square is equal to QE by m. So d x by dt is equal to QE t by m. QVT by M plus C1 plus C. Suppose this is your C1. C1 T plus C. Suppose this is C2. Okay. Now the particle starts from rest. That means U is equal to 0. That means when T is equal to 0, when T is equal to 0, U is equal to V is equal to 0 u is your initial speed that is your dx by dt is only so 0 is equal to c1 into 0 plus c2 so c2 is 0 okay c2 is your 0 so if c2 is your 0 your dx by dt is equal to c1 t so dx is equal to c1 t dt and uh, your x is equal to how much c1 t square by 2 plus c3 suppose and uh, yeah, c1 t square by t plus c2. This is our x. Hmm. This is our x. And uh, we can say, so we'll leave it c1 t square by. Okay. Now, this is because of electric field. This uh, movement is because of electric field because we calculated because of qe is equal to because this was a horizontal field, right? This was a horizontal field that means. Oriental x axis along x axis, the electric field is along x axis. So I took Q is equal to m dv by dt, which is dx by dt square. Now we have to also consider the vertical motion that is uh, due to gravitational field. Due to gravitational field, we will take it as what? Force is mg is equal to m dv by dt again, but this one is vy, okay, vy, y component. Yeah, you can write it here this is because of dvx because electric field is along x-axis so dvx by dt uh, this is gravitational field along y-axis gravitational field is downwards so mg is equal to m d square y by dt square right so mm cancelled so g is equal to this much mm. 
g is equal to d square y by dt square so dy by dt is equal to gt okay and y is equal to gt square by 2 okay so y is equal to gt square by 2 y is equal to gt square by 2 and uh, x is equal to c1 t square by 2 okay if we take the ratio of these two x is equal to c1 t square by 2 <clears throat> y is equal to gt square by 2 if we take the ratio x by y is equal to c1 t square by 2 because we need the relation between x and y to define which kind of thing it is whether it is a straight line whether it is a parabola whether it is a circle okay for straight line it will be y is equal to mx plus c for parabola it will be y square is equal to 4ax or x square is equal to 4ay for circle it will be x square plus y square is equal to constant right so this one let's take the ratio gt square by 2 so t square t square cancelled 2 2 cancelled what is that x by y is equal to c1 by g which is of course a constant suppose constant k so x is equal to ky or y is equal to kx this is the equation of what k dash x suppose k goes to this this is the equation of straight line doesn't it kx plus 0 mx plus c so this is the equation of straight line so that will be your answer so answer will be equation of straight line Next question. And in later field in a region. It's given by E x y z is equal to A x i cap plus B y j cap plus C z k cap. Sorry. A x i cap plus C z j cap. Plus six b y k cap for which values of a b c for which values of a b c does this represent does this represent an electrostatic field Option A, 13, 1, 2, Option B, 17, 6, 1, Option C, 13, 1, 6, Option D, 45, 6, 1, right. So if you see, the related field is what? A, X, I cap plus C, Z, J cap plus 6 b y k k which values of abc does it represent an electrostatic field so for electrostatic field we know the call of e will be zero okay so let's take the call call means i cap j cap k cap del by del x del by del y del by del z a x c z and 6by is equal to 0 so that will be 6v minus c i cap plus this is 0 this is 0 0 j cap plus this is this is 0 so overall these things are 0 only what is left this should be 0 also so 6v minus c should be 0 so 6v should be how much c 
So we just have to check in which relation, which option 6b is equal to c. Not possible. This is b, this is c. 6 into b is not c. 6 into b is not c. 6 into b is c, yeah. 6 into b is not c. So this is the option. I hope you understood. <coughs> Next, one last question, number 14. The circular conducting ring of radius R rotates with constant angular velocity omega about about the about its diameter about its diameter placed placed along the x-axis Uniform magnetic field B, uniform magnetic field B, uniform magnetic field B is applied along the, is applied along the y axis. If at time t is equal to zero, if at time t is equal to zero. The ring is entirely the ring. The ring is entirely entirely in the xy plane. The ring is entirely in the xy plane. The EMF induced the EMF induced the EMF induced in the ring. EMF induced in the ring at the time at the time t greater than zero is option A B omega square pi r square t option B B omega pi r square tan omega t option C B omega pi R square sin omega t option d b omega pi r square cos omega t. A circular conducting ring of radius r rotates with constant angular velocity omega <coughs> about its diameter placed along the x axis. This is a circular conducting ring radius r angular velocity is omega about its diameter plates along x-axis. Uniform magnetic field is, up, is applied along y-axis. Magnetic field is along y-axis. <laughs> At time t is equal to 0, the ring is entirely in the xy plane. The MF induced in the uh, ring. Okay. Very simple question. So we know flux is equal to how much? Again, V dot A. That is VA cos theta. Right? B A cos theta. Your theta is how much? Theta is equal to omega t, we know. So B A cos omega t. Okay. So now what is asked in the question? EMF induced. EMF we know is what? EMF is minus del phi by del t. Right? Del phi by del t. So minus del by del t of B A cos omega t. That will be minus B A. Del by t of cos omega t is omega minus omega sin omega t. So the whole thing becomes V A omega sin omega t. Okay, sin omega t. Now this is your okay. Now what is uh, 
in the options if you see there are pi r square and all so this is a circle of uh, radius r so we can simply put area as pi r square so b uh, pi r square omega sin omega let's see whether this option is there or not so direct very simple question b omega pi r square sin omega this is the answer these all the things x y axis x axis these are all there to confuse you so just you go straight to flux find flux then find emf through minus del phi by del okay <laughs> Next question, question number fifteen. A thin uniform, thin uniform ring carrying charge Q carrying charge Q. and mass m rotates rotates about its axis about its axis about its axis what is the gyromagnetic ratio what is the gyromagnetic ratio what is gyromagnetic ratio defined as ratio of <coughs> defined as ratio of magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment to the angular momentum of the ring Okay. So options are Q by two pi m, Q by m, Q by two m, Q by pi m. These are the options. A thin uniform ring carrying the charge Q mass m rotates about its axis. What is the gyromagnetic ratio? So if you see, it's given in the question. What is gyromagnetic ratio? So gyromagnetic ratio uh, is a what? Dipole moment gyromagnetic ratio. Suppose uh, this gm ratio is equal to magnetic dipole moment. Divided by angular momentum. So magnetic dipole moment is what capital M divided by angular momentum is okay capital M dash suppose because M is your mass, angular momentum is your L. Okay. So magnetic moment M dash is equal to current into area I into A. Okay. Uh, but there is no I here. There is charge. Okay. Charge by time is your I. Charge by time into area. Area is your how much? Pi R square. Right, pi r square. Now, again, uh, what is your uh, what is your time period? I can write time period as two pi by omega. Right. So let me write it. Q pi r square by two pi by omega. So pi pi cancelled out. So Q omega r square by two. Hmm. So this is your m dash. So now what is l? L is your m r square omega. This is where your l. So we can just directly take the ratio now. So your m dash <coughs> by l will be q omega r square by two divided by m r square omega. So r square omega r square omega cancel out. So q by two. This is all right. This will be your answer. Okay. Q by two. <coughs>
write a question for homework. If a1 is equal to, so question number 16, e1 is equal to xy i cap plus 2yz j cap plus 3xz k cap, okay. E2 is equal to y square i cap plus 2xy plus z square j cap plus 2yz k cap. Then option A. What is the op true option? Okay, both are. Impossible in electrostatic fields both are impossible in electrostatic fields option B both are possible in electrostatic fields both are possible in electrostatic fields Option C only E1 is possible, and option D only E2 is possible. Let's try this question. Okay, we have done this kind of question in this class, so please try. Okay, okay then that'll be it for this class, and uh, we'll be doing more questions in the upcoming sessions. Thank you.